All right. So, another book review. This one is going to be a lot of fun because it's episode one, The Phantom Menace Visual Dictionaries. Now, this is the original one that came out, and this is the expanded version. This one's from 99. This one's from 2012. This one has 64 pages. This one has 104 pages. So, we're going to do both books, and I'm going to show you how they're different from each other, okay? In case you haven't seen these at all. So, mine has the original slip cover to it, which is nice. So, as you can see, the slip cover, like all the visual dictionaries before it, or at, before and after it, have, you know, different stuff on the front and the back as well. And the hard cover's the same, so don't go over that. The inside jacket. Oop. Come on. Today would be nice. And all that's goodies. So we can toss that aside. <laughs> so what we're going to do is, if I can get it straightened out. So as you can see, front of this has Maul. And on the back of it, not so much. But if you open it up, boom. And that's exactly what it looks like on the hardcover. So that's what's on the back of it. So what we'll do is... Open this up, put them side by side, just like this, and we're going to have us a page turning session. So, as you can see, right, don't fall inside the updated edition, you get the battle above Naboo, and here you get hyperspace or whatever the hell it is. In this page, you get Aura Sing. Stop. And then it turns into this, where you get all those. And as always, watch this on your TV, man. So in this one, you get 3PO. And it's pretty much the same setup, for the most part. Let's see here. Oh, come on. There's a table of contents for this one. And there's the introduction. Now the table of contents for this is two pages and you get more. So already you can see a huge difference. And here's the introduction for this. Now this one is repaired. This one, this is the same one I actually rented a while ago. As you can see in this two pager, it's got you know, two page, the introduction's on one page, but it's two pages of Jerodica firing. So. Oof. So, it starts off with the Phantom Menace. Same thing. Only the pages are different. See? Now, you're probably wondering, which book am I going to buy? Well, I already own this one. So... I will probably, if I feel like it, buy this one again. And as you can see, it goes to Coruscant. And then this one, come on, it goes to Mace Windu and Yoda. And then on the next page, it's Mace Windu and Yoda. And you can see how updated it is just from that. It's mostly the same, but, you know, it's all it's been updated. So certain sections have updates to them, others don't. Now we're at the Jedi High Council. And you can see how that's the same, how it's been updated, and it's kind of, you know, it's the same, but it's also different. It depends on your viewpoint. And there's the second half. And as you can see, the difference is that they added more pages for them. So next up is Qui-Gon. And there's Qui-Gon. So let's see what we got here. So you can see, damn it, down, bitch. <laughs> that book, my version got wet 
So that was from last year sometime, so it's dried, but the pages are kind of rippled. So this is Qui-Gon Jinn continued. So there's that. Let's see what's on the other page. Come on. Next one is Obi-Wan. So there, there's his page. And we got Obi-Wan. <laughs> so some of these pages, see they have double to them because they added more. I said down. Well, the next page is the Moidians. Oh, my bad. No. Flat, I said. Thank you. There we go. Sorry about this. It's kind of annoying. And we got the Nemordians on this page. So you can see how much different it is. And the, different, the main difference is that a lot of this points out stuff. Like this stuff is pointed out in boxes. This one is just pointed out to where they are. So... It's really interesting in what they got. And we got the flagship crew. And then this one is the invasion force. So there's that. And then we come to the invasion force. So that previous page was brand new material. Because like I said, this one's expanded on stuff into what it has, so it's got new stuff to it. Come on. Okay, let me move, let me see here. So you saw this. Okay, so battle droids in this one are one page so far. This page, this book, it is two pages. So. I love the two-page spread outs. Those are always my favorite because you get so much out of it and it's a lot of fun. I actually, here's something I really wish they would have done. Uh, bleh. ooh, excuse me. <laughs> That's one. And here's Battle Droids Continued. Show you this real quick. Something I wish they would have done with Grievous in the Visual Dictionary is made him like a massive poster. There's Droidicas. Like if they made him a massive uh, fold out poster with details, it would have been awesome. So here's Battle Droids Continued. And then we come to Droidicas. Okay. Ugh. So there's a grand total of 168 pages. So there's 99, there's 2012. So you can see a massive difference. Even the body on this one has blaster burn, has a uh, oh, burn mark to it, and this one is more clean. And there's more on Droidicas. Go away. So there's more on that. So they expanded on a lot of stuff, which is nice. Next up is Queen Amidala. And Queen Amidala. So they're about the same. Nothing really changed, but... Okay, so we got the Queen's Handmaidens. No, don't do that. So most of these pages have changed a little bit. Not very much, though. The only difference that's really um, noticeable is the boxes for who, who is who and details and whatnot. So they didn't really embellish on too much, but they did where it was needed, basically. And there's Pad Mary. Pad Mary. Pad Mary. <laughs> so there's Pad May 2012. Pad May 99. So basically, yeah, pages are about the same. 
give or take. So here's Naboo for 2012. And Naboo 99. So as you can see, there's a massive difference here. There's no ship. There's a lot of stuff's changed. Yeah. Yeah, look at that, the shack. That didn't show up till episode two. We got Captain Panaka. Or as I like to call him Big Daddy P. <laughs> I just made that shit up. So there's Panaka 99. Panaka 2012. So you can tell there's not a lot of a difference between the pages except for, you know, some stuff has been expanded on. Other stuff is, you know, not quite embellished upon. And we're at page 50 in this. And we got the Space Fighter Core. Let's see. Come on. And look at that. They changed it. 99, they were the Naboo pilots with R2 beside them. Now they're Space Fighter Core with no R2. So yeah, I might get this book. I don't know. And look at that. Feed Hanger. And then here we got Jar Jar. So here's a huge difference. So let's get this going. Oh, 99 Jar Jar. Whoa, easy boy. So there's Jar Jar. And then we got R2. And the other droids involved. Hand hurts. So this is fun because you get to see you know, the differences between two books. Oh, there we go. This one has the Gungans. It'll stay flat. And then this one, we come to Jar Jar again. So. Actually, yeah, let me do that. Let me go back. Hold on. There we go. All right, perfect. Yeah. We got double Jar Jar in this motherfucker. Yeah. So you can see right off the bat, the text is different. Yeah, the text is mainly different for the most part. Yeah, everything else is fine. Well, actually, no, this one, the logos aren't there in this one. So yeah. yeah, let me go back here. So I did the Gungans. All right, so, oof, brother. <laughs> so there's Gungan Warfare. All right. Oof, they saw the Gungans. And we have Gungan Boo. And this is actually nice because this shows um, more about, uh, you know, everything involved with uh, Gunga City and stuff. And Gungan Warfare. Okay, so here's a major difference. We got the beasts and stuff. And then here we got soldiers and communication, binoculars, all that stuff. And then continued, we get the other stuff. Whew, man. I'm really stiff. Hang on. Oh, that's so much better. My apologies. I had to crack my back. So, there's a massive difference. And we got Sea Monsters of Naboo. Now, if you have seen my video for the wildlife of Star Wars, you already know how cool that book is. And here's another difference between this. So, this one has... Come on. Uh, three monsters on the front. This one has multiple monsters on the front.
and different poses as well. And also, this one, 99, measures them. So you know how long they are. <laughs> yeah. And there it is again, but it's different. And now we're up to Darth Maul. But we still have, they've embellished more on, you know, the monsters and whatnot, which was nice. So we're up to Darth Maul now. Okay, so right now I can tell a huge, huge difference. Okay. His attire is lighter where it's darker in this picture. So you can literally see that shit. And yeah, there's a huge amount of differences in the pictures. Yep. Yeah. It's crazy. It's cool, though. That's what makes it so much fun, because you're talking about, you know, two different books and shit. Okay, so here's a two-page spread of Maul Continued. I'll flip it in one second. Hang on. Oh, let's see. Okay, so there's Anakin, so let's flip this. So what they did here is they flipped it to where you got to see Maul Saber, his ship, his, uh mini bike and more of his lightsaber and stuff so that's cool and then we got anakin just being cool and anakin this is page 47 now in the 99 book so in the extended book we're up to page 74 ain't that something so we got Shmi and Anakin, a two-page setup. And then we got his backstory from Pilot to Jedi. That's cool. Would I recommend this to my friends? Yeah, definitely, because this is fun. Okay, so now they did it from, they broke it up. So now Shmi and 3PO in the 99 book. And then here's what they did for 3PO in the 2012 edition. They made him a two-pager. Man, if I didn't care about Star Wars books a lot, I would totally take out these two-page spreads because they are so cool. And then you get... Yeah, this has much more detail on what he's got going on. Which is really, really awesome. And it breaks down his body. You know, Anakin's tools and whatnot and how he came together. Ugh, so. And we got Watto, and Watto's a two-page spread. So that's what Watto's got going on. Let's see what he's got in 99. Another two-page spread. So, can you spot the differences? I definitely can. There's a lot of changes in this stuff. <laughs> the cane wasn't added in until 2, so they're kind of... So I'm guessing this is like a combo of episode 1 and episode 2, even though it's focused on episode 1. Yeah, that makes sense. So, yeah, double Watto. Let's see what's on the other side. We got Sebulba. So Sebulba is a two-page spread. We're almost done with 99's book. So here's Sebulba from 99. Okay, so they're about the same. Not much changed. Actually, the Twi'lek twins have names. They didn't, they were just called Twi'lek twins. They have names. <laughs> and we got pod race, pod racer contenders. Cool. Alright, let's see what we got. Come on, come on. Don't do that to me. Okay, so this is contenders. This one's called Cruise, and then it just shows you, you know, what you got there. And the pit droids as well. And then it was Pod Racers Continued. And we got the Pod Race Crowd. There we go. We're almost done here, dude. And then we got Pod Race Cruise. 
Oh, come on. And we have Tatooine Inhabitants. Which is pretty cool, too. I like that. Ooh. Page tour. I'll fix it then. Then we got, you know, the pit droids. So they got their own. So like I said, everything got expanded on for the most part. So we got the pod race crowd. You saw that. So here's what it looks like in 2012. We got Jabba's box. This is brand new as well. And now we're up to Tatooine Inhabitants. And then we got, they added in, they did more on the beasts and expanded that. And then we got the Senate. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, come on. Don't be an asshole. And we're coming up on the end of this book. So we got Chancellor of Alorum and a Senate guard and all the other people in between. And this one has more embellishment, obviously. And then we have Chancellor of Alorum and Senator Palpatine. Okay. In this book, we have Senator Palpatine and the Senate. And of course, there's, you know, massive text differences and whatnot. And then we have TC3, Palpatine's droid. And then the editors and all that stuff who helped bring this book to life. Come on. And in the back of this one, we have Gascano. And everybody involved in the project. So, that was 99 and 2012's Star Wars Episode 1 Phantom Menace Visual Dictionary and the expanded version of it. So... As you can see, there were major differences. A lot of stuff got expanded on. There was a lot of update, and I like that. I will probably maybe buy this down the road. I don't know yet. We'll see. Um, if you liked either one of these, check them both out at your library. See if you enjoy them. I know I enjoyed them. I will probably get some other ones because um, I've no I did see that they have Rise of Skywalker Visual Dictionary coming out and it's got cross sections. I noticed they're phasing out the Incredible Cross sections, which really fucking sucks because I love the Incredible Cross sections. Err. So I'll probably get some of those down the road too. But yeah, so which one was better? Nostalgia? Updated nostalgia. Hmm. They're both good, but this one is definitely the winner because it's got more info, better detailing, and it's a lot more fun. So, yeah, I'm sorry. I am sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Get the fuck out of the frame. <laughs> You're the winner. <laughs> But then again, you know, nostalgia-wise, it's good to have both. Because if you own both of these, that's awesome, you know. Like, I have tons of Star Wars books. Like, I'll show you my entire Star Wars book collection after I finish this video, so you know what I'm talking about. Um, so, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed this and the difficulty of the pages. <laughs> um... So, yeah, I'll be back in a little bit. Stay tuned.